Hi guys, this is Nitro iPod here, and today I'm going to show you how to get custom text sounds for iPod Touch. Um, the programs you're going to need are a texting app, which mine I'm using right here is Text Plus, and you're going to need iFile. Okay, uh, to start off, I'll show you Text Plus. Um, as you can see, I have custom Windows logo on there. I can show you guys how to do that later. So you just wait for Text Plus to load up, and your sounds are going to be down here. You click more settings and if you use any other texting app like text free you just it's the same thing to edit the sounds. So you edit look at the sounds. Um the one I wouldn't use, I'm going to edit is sonar. So I click it and here's the sound. Okay, so I'm going to edit that sound. So I'm going to back out of text plus and I'm going to open up iFile and what you're going to need to do is when you download it, this is going to come up. It's in the root of it. This is all the stuff on your iPod. So it's going to say VAR up at the top. Like, as you can see, VAR Mobile. And what you want to do is VAR Mobile, and you want to click Applications. And all these weird names will come up. Um, they're actually your applications that you have on your iPod. So what you want to do is click the bottom left-hand corner, that little setting symbol. And you want to click application names to on then you want to click done and then your application name should come up and you want to scroll down to your text app I'm using text text plus so it would probably be called text plus and there it is right there so you click text plus click text app and you want to bookmark this so you click on the bookmarks and you want to create a new folder. I'll just show you how to do that. Click edit, click new folder, and you just make a new folder, and that's it. So I'm just going to cancel because I already made one. And once you are done this, you want to, if you have a sound that you downloaded, like a ringtone from Cydia, you want to go back into iFile, you want to click var, then you want to click stash and then themes and then you can scroll down to whatever sound you are using um, I have a Modern Warfare 2 sound I downloaded um, if I can find it there it is My sound Modern Warfare 2 level up click on UI sounds and there it is the name is SMS received so I download that as a ringtone they say you can use it for any text but the SMS received is only for iPhone it only works for iPhone because it works with the default SMS app but the touch doesn't have one so it won't work with iPods it'll only work with iPhones and here's the sound so I'm gonna use that sound so to copy it you wanna click edit top right you wanna check it off and the bottom right you wanna click copy link and so once you're done that you want to go back to your bookmarks you should have bookmarked um, your themes in case you want to get back to it so you want to open up the text plus app and here I am again um, then you want to click top click on top edit then bottom right and click paste to paste your sound and then I'll paste from there and then Okay, so the sound I'm editing is sonar, so I need to scroll down to sonar, and there it is right there. There's, there's the sound I'm editing. So I just I want to keep this just in case I might use it later. So I'm gonna name it sonar. I'm gonna name it sonar one. So I click sonar and write one. Click done then click done again and then here's my SMS receive sound that I just copied now I want to click the right arrow and I want to rename this so I edit delete the name and I write in sonar make sure you write it in as as you as the first one was it's better easier to just the copy the name of it and then paste it and name the other one sonar one that you're the original one that you don't want to use 
because if it's capitalized and the other one wasn't then it won't work so there it is sonar and sonar one that's the original one and I'm going to show you how it works so I edit exit out go into text plus I have the custom windows logo and just wait for it to load up and then click more settings sounds and you need just need to click off one and then back on to preview the sound and here's the sound so yeah that's how to get custom sounds for text plus or any other applications for that matter on iPod touch um, I haven't experimented with any other ones but I'm sure it's pretty much the same thing just if they have sounds then you just edit it and name it as the what the sound is so and another cool thing I did was I changed the text balloons normally they're blue and green and I changed them to blue and red so if you want to know how to do that too I can show you how to do that and that's it peace out